Hello everybody and welcome back to the world around us. It is great to be back. This is my podcast where we sit down for about 20 minutes. We just have a quick discussion on different topics on things that are happening in the world around us. So grab a snack, grab a cup of tea, sit down, chill out and just have a chat with us for the next 20 minutes. So got my cup of tea. First cup of tea I've had in a while actually. Um... I've definitely slowed down. I went through a bit of a phase where I'd be constantly drinking tea. Don't know why, but it just happened. And that's coming from someone who probably about a year ago didn't actually drink tea that much, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're back. We've taken a quick a quick little break. Um, a lot happened just before we... Uh, bef- just after the last ep- episode, actually, um, we was we did film an episode dedicated to Sarah Harding. Obviously, it's been about a month or two now since it was announced that she had passed away and lost her battle with breast cancer. And we did announce on Twitter, on our Twitter page, at The World Around Us, that we was going to be dedicating an episode to her. Um, Me and Hannah filmed the episode ourselves. We did a whole dedication to her. However, we lost the recording. It just... It was was really annoying, actually. Um, The recording wouldn't work. There was no volume on what we had recorded. So then trying to upload it to the file to edit, it just wasn't working. So... um, at that point, I was too frustrated and I just left it. Um, had a few weeks um, to myself. I've been working. I've started around the time of the last episode, I'd started college again. I was back at work. So I've been basically going from college to work every single day. So hence why there hasn't really been much of an upload schedule for the past few weeks. But we are back. We're going to try get back into it. Um, there's been a lot of drama this week. We're going to be talking about Jesse Nelson, Little Mix, Nicki Minaj. Um, there is just a lot that we need to discuss. And I felt like this week was the right time to come back to have a discussion on these few different things. So sit back, relax and let's get into it. So I think we've all heard about what has recently been happening with Jess Nelson and Little Mix. So obviously about December last year, she announced that she was leaving Little Mix due to her not being able to deal with the pressures of being in a girl group and constantly being compared to the other members. Um, About six months after this, she announced that she had signed a record deal with Polydor and in the UK and her American label is Republic Records. Uh, she announced this to Instagram and fans were obviously excited for this new chapter. Um, it has recently been brought up to a bit more of a higher topic that she has, she's basically been accused of blackfishing. Um, this is something that has been brought up before, around the time that she was still in the group. Um, when she filmed for the Sweet Melody music video, people was accusing her of blackfishing. Um, blackfishing is a term used of someone basically, to put it into words, for so- just to make it easier to explain, it's bas- she is basically over tanning to the point where she looks like she is a person of colour. A lot of people have been posting on Twitter from what I've seen saying, you know, they thought she was mixed race at least um, because there are images on social media where she does appear to be have a darker skin tone than Leanne, who is a member of Lil Mix, who is a person of colour. Hold on, let me just sip my tea. It's not that great with um, sweetener in it. Um, we ran out of sugar. But yeah, um, 
So that all happened, and then she re- recently, last week, I think, or not even that, maybe a couple of days ago, she released her first single uh, titled Boys with Nicki Minaj. It was released about two, three days ago now. And it is a good song, in my opinion, disregarding all the drama that's been kicking off and everything that's happened. I do think it is a good song. Um, So she released that, and then shortly afterwards, um, you know, at first it was met with, with quite a good response, but then once it hit more of the general public rather than just the fan base, that's when opinions started forming a bit stronger than they had to begin with. I think, and that's when people were saying that she is, first of all, her tan, she appears darker than she is, and also, I think some people was offended by the song itself, and um, the lyrics, and what she was basically saying, so the song's basically about her liking bad boys, and she describes bad boys as someone who is, you know, has a golden tooth, it looks a bit quote-unquote, as she said, looks naughty and looks like they'd cause trouble. People, I think, was getting the interpretation that she was basically describing people of colour, or men of colour, for that matter, as bad, in a way, or someone that looks bad. Kind of like, I don't like to use this word, but kind of a thug, basically. That is what she was basically expressing that she liked boys who looked bad and she described boys who are bad as men who are of colour. Um, I mean, personally, I feel like the way that she's gone about describe the way she described it wasn't how it should have been because... It's kind of... It's kind of just following stereotype, you know of what people would imagine a bad boy to look like. You know, they've got gold teeth, they've got chains, they've got rings, they wear a a white vest. That is what the stereotype is. Now, a bad boy can be anybody, really. Let's be honest. Even the nicest looking people can be absolute... I'm not going to swear on the podcast, but, you know, not the nicest. So the fact that it's been described as a black person being a bad boy was where people was getting the get you know finding it a bit wrong of what she was describing it as um i'm not sure if what i'm saying makes sense but that is what people were basically saying so obviously you know she's being accused of black fishing her song the title bad boys and singing about people or men of color who are you know are what she calls looking like someone who's a bit naughty or bad, um, caused a bit of stir on Twitter. Um, I know that, obviously, I've got a Twitter account. I've definitely seen all the tweets. Obviously, as a mix of myself, I did, you know, I was in the middle of... Well, not in the middle, but I was surrounded by a lot of... a lot of drama, a lot of arguments, a lot of... You know, there was a lot of discussion on social media, in particular on Twitter and Instagram. Um, As of recently, it has moved over to TikTok because of what happened the other night. So, Nicki Minaj announced that she was going live on Instagram with Jessie to discuss their new song. Um, It started off good. They were just discussing the song. She was kind of introducing Jessie to the American audience and her fan base. So she was asking her general questions about what she, you know, what what she likes, what she does, where she's from, um, what she, you know, she was obviously in Little Mix, so she was talking about that, and the towards the, you know, the near end of the conversation, um, the she brought up the, um, leaked supposed leaked messages that Leanne had sent to a TikToker. So the day before this had happened, a TikToker had leaked what is allegedly Leanne's messages. I'm saying allegedly because personally, I'm not sure whether they are real or not. Um, 
the, these messages was shown in a TikTok that he created basically to cause drama. So he had messaged Leanne. No, he no. He posted a um poll on his story um asking his audience whether he should perform um create a video dancing to Jesse's single boys. Um Leanne allegedly responded to this saying no. Um, saying that he should make a video about her blackfishing instead. Um, he was apparently a fan of Little Mix. He's a mixer since day one, allegedly. And, you know, he was shocked. He was like, I thought he was all okay. And then she was basically saying that she's a horrible person. She cut them off entirely. She blocked them after she left. And she's had no communication with them whatsoever. Um... The fact that whether these messages are real or not is another discussion because personally, I don't think they are. I find it quite hard to believe that Leanne would message a random person who she's not really familiar with, telling them to necessarily make a video about her blackfishing. I feel like she is a bit more sensible than that. If it is her, I also feel like if it was, if it is genuine, that she, you know... She's obviously frustrated to the point where she feels as though she's got to maybe be a bit more direct, you know. She's, um, you know, she's been, she's dealt with racism her entire life, especially after X Factor. Um, you know, she tried to tell Jessie before about her blackfishing. Jessie said that on the Sweet Melody video that Leanne... Approach well, messaged her saying, uh, making her aware of the situation, which is, you know, that's a re that's a very mature way. Over a message, obviously, she may have just felt more comfortable saying it over a message, but I'm sure that she didn't really mean any harm with it. Really, she was just making her aware, so that she doesn't do it in the future. But obviously, she has just continued and ignored her you know, what she's saying, but basic, basically, um, these messages were leaked, and Nikki basically, basically just erupted randomly on the live stream, and just started discussing these messages, um, calling Leanne a clown, saying it's clown behaviour, I think one of the things that she said was, um, if you act like a clown, I'm going to treat you like a clown. Um, saying that they are jealous because obviously she, Jessie has gone solo and she's getting all this, you know, s sudden success. You know, she's got a song with Nicki Minaj and all of a sudden, after apparently, after apparently 10 years, she's only just said something now. Um, because she's allegedly jealous and that is what Nicki was basically saying on the live stream. Um, and then, since then, it has just erupted on social media. It's all over my TikToks, uh, For You page. It's all over my Twitter. It's literally everywhere. Everyone's discussing it because, obviously, Nikki had worked with Little Mix in about, I think it was either 20, 2018, I think, on their lead single off of LM5, Woman Like Me. So, they've worked to together before and... I think a lot of people were quite shocked that she called Leanne out on a live stream to over 100,000 people. Um, I feel like this was hugely inappropriate and I think it's quite embarrassing, not only on Leanne's behalf, but on Nikki's behalf also. Um, and um, a lot of people are saying that Jesse, you know, should have said something, but... You can clearly tell from the video that she is uncomfortable. And no way no no way am I defending Jesse by saying that, but it is clear that she is uncomfortable with you know, Nicky stops talking for a second, there's this awkward silence and she just kind of like just clears her throat. Because I think she is clearly uncomfortable. And, you know, it's Nicki Minaj at the end of the day. She may have not been confident enough to have even stuck up for her obviously she should have stuck up for her they've been friends for 10 years 
At the end of the day, Leanne advised her. She did it privately. She, you know, she didn't publicly black bash her because that is something that she didn't want to do. She wanted to talk to her in private over a message, you know, hey, just wanted to make you aware, you know, that this is a thing and this is what people think and it's just a bit inappropriate. I think that is the way that she was going about it. But now that it's being made public... And I think the fact that Jesse still went on to, you know, excessively tan, you know, if she did send these messages, it would have led her to, you know, being so frustrated. You know, she's left the band for mental health reasons. I'm not saying that she can't release music, but it, it has been a bit of a conversation that, you know, that she, you know, she left for this and this and that, but then she's going to do a solo project, you know. So alongside that, and then obviously the blackfishing, it could be that she has, you know, she's gained frustration over it. But, yeah, I think it was definitely inappropriate entirely. I feel like Nikki was basically just basically just going off of what either Jessie had said or what everyone was saying on social media. And she must have done some research or something to see these alleged messages. Because, you know, unless she's following people who are Jessie fans or Little Mix fans, she wouldn't have been aware. Personally, I don't think she would have. Because it didn't really properly blow up until just before Nikki said something on social media and then on the live stream. Um, I think this disregarding, not disregarding, but, you know... Forgetting that everything that happened for a second, I think it is quite sad also, you know, to see people, four girls who were best friends for 10 years, just, you know, that friendship to just fall apart really is, you know, disheartening, especially for mixers, you know, including me. It was quite sad to see, you know, people who have been friends for 10 years and then she's bashing her on a live stream. But I think... The main fire of the live stream was Nikki over Jesse. I think Jesse could have just been a bit too uncomfortable to say something because, you know, if she says something to Nicki Minaj, you know, everyone will, f you know, they'll kill her on social media. They will literally tear her apart if she said something. And, you know, she turned around and said, you know what? I will mix with her for 10 years, you know, all this and that she would have then got that hate and you know she don't know what nikki is you know could or do or say or anything so she may have had been a bit uncomfortable to say anything but I, a lot it was a it was current that she did you know she looked uncomfortable and it was clear that she was uncomfortable with what was said and what was happening um I do think that it would be f only fair if Leanne was to publicly say something, um, you know, regarding if the messages are real or fake, um, in a response to what Nick is saying, not necessarily in, you know, in, you know, to argue with her, but, you know, to defend herself. You know, the amount of people that have been... I mean, to be fair, I've seen a lot more people agree with Leanne than I've seen agree with Nikki and Jessie. Um, obviously, you get the Nikki fans, um, they'll turn on Leanne. A lot of people have been saying, oh, because I've um saying her husband, um, Andre, was, no, not husband, her fiancé, sorry. Um, obviously, he has had said some um, offensive stuff in his past, which he has apologised for. People were bringing that up, saying... You know, she's saying this about Jessie, but she's not saying it about her own boyfriend. Um, but she has. She literally publicly, you know, spoke with him about it in a documentary. You know, she... And I tweeted this myself, actually, and it got quite a bit of attention. I, I put um, in the comment section of Pop Base is Post where people... There was a specific tweet saying, um, Leanne's husband ain't so innocent. Um, after people were discussing about Nikki's husband, obviously, with his sexual assault, um, claims that obviously he's allegedly raped young girls and he is being, 
you know, going through court and everything for that. Um, so I commented saying Leanne literally addressed it with Andre and told him he was wrong. She included in her documentary, don't act as though she ain't correcting him either because she is correcting him. That got about 796 likes, which I think is my most liked tweet on Twitter. So not like that it's a good thing really, but you know, it's good. You know, there was a lot of people who agreed with me and was sticking up for Leanne, which was really nice to see. Um, but that's that's basically where we're up to at the minute boys is has received a lot of backlash i think a lot of people since this live stream has happened have retaliated left bad reviews on the song on itunes it's slowly gone down the charts um um it's currently at number four when it had been at number one obviously it's going to go down eventually but you know as soon as this happened all of a sudden it was going down it was four stars or four and a half stars on itunes it's now three stars out of five so the star rating has gone down because a lot of people are leaving bad reviews in retaliation to what has been said um but yeah i think going forward i do think that you know leanne jesse and the girls themselves need to sit down you know not nikki not anybody else they need to sit down i think nikki needs to apologize to leanne personally and publicly you know she publicly bashed her and humiliated her speaking on something that i don't think she was too um too knowledgeable knowledge i can't even speak too knowledgeable about um and i think it was really embarrassing on her behalf don't get me wrong, I love Nikki. I think, you know, she is the queen of rap. Um, not saying that, you know, any other artist is, but, you know, she is, like, an OG. She, you know, she's got so many hits, so many successful songs. She's a good rapper. She is good at what she does. But I think the drama that she gets herself involved in and speaks on things that she doesn't really need to be speaking on is what ruins it. And this really disappointed me, to be honest, especially with Jessie not sticking up for Lee and Nikki bashing her publicly, I think that was the most, it was, it was disappointing to see, it was really heartbreaking, and it was quite, it was quite distressing to watch, actually, um, I don't easily get affected by, you know, things or people having arguments on social media, but this one really kind of hit me a bit in like a different way and I think it did for quite a lot of people, because a lot of people really didn't think that that was going to be you know, that would ever happen. Um, but that is all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The World Around Us, episode three, season one. We will be back next week. Um, I'm not sure whether videos are going to go back to every Friday or if I'm just going to upload them whenever I feel like it or whether there's something interesting enough to talk about. But I will try and aim for at least one episode a week there is eight episodes to the first season so obviously after the first eight episodes it will be in discussion to see whether we'll go forward with season two so make sure you are subscribing and liking the video also turn the notification button on so you are being notified every time a new episode is released thank you so much for watching guys the support has been unreal over the break and even before you know when we first started the support was so unreal i didn't expect it to get such a good reception and it really has done well so far so thank you all so much if there's any topics you'd like us to discuss in the next episode please comment them down below or visit our twitter page at the world around us and we will reply to every single tweet or comment that is made. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye guys.